very often people say you're a professor of marketing they want to talk about branding and I say no tell me about your market first tell me about how your market works tell me about where you're positioned in that market against your competitors tell me about the segments in the market only then can you start talking about branding but no everybody wants to talk about branding don't they because it's the nice fun bit of marketing isn't it you've got to look at where the 80-20 rule is in other words there are usually on a market map 80% of the decisions are made by 20% of the junction points on there and it's at those junction points that you do the segmentation all the companies I work with when they've done it they say Markham we've learned more from doing that market map than anything else we've ever done in the history of our company first thing is what we call a mission statement I don't want to bore the pants off you there other than to say if you've got vapid words in it like delighting customers you know not polluting the environment I'm going to I, send me an email and I'll come and kill you I mean it is vapid useless nonsense the quickest way to go bankrupt is to delight your customers you can go bankrupt even quicker if you excite them then you get to the dreaded SWOT analysis that every student and manager in the world knows and I've got to be careful on a video but I will tell you that if you look at this I might as well tell you what that mnemonic means it means scientific wild ass guess that's what it means most SWOT analyses I've ever seen in my long life have been complete nonsense I think I've already said to you if ever I catch anybody in the world doing a SWOT like that I'm going to kill you it is about as useful as a bird of prey with a squint I would say it's probably as useful as an ash crown on a motorbike everybody does them they're taught in business schools I don't know why people write about them in books